Greetings fans, friends, and family. Your crafty diva cat here with video one in our jewelry making series. For this video, I'm going to be talking about a basic spiral tied bracelet. Now this is most commonly done with hemp, although you can do it with embroidery floss or a variety of options. This is standard jewelry hemp, and it's available in both craft and discount stores. It also is available in a thicker variety, which I'm going to use tonight for demonstration purposes. If you don't like hemp, and a lot of people don't because it has a bit of a rough surface, a great option that many people don't think of is using cotton thread, and the best kind to use for a very delicate jewelry piece would be cotton crochet hood thread. It's got a wonderfully smooth finish, and it comes in colors that are similar to hemp, so you can have a very similar look to the natural hemp, with a much smoother feel for delicate skin. This is especially useful for choker necklaces because the neck is usually way more sensitive than the wrists or the ankles if you're doing bracelets or ankles. So a basic spiral knot is going to look like this when it's finished. This is a large one made for my husband's wrist size. And what it is is a series of overhand knots that go around and all the way down with a loop at one end and strings at the end. So when you're all done, you can slide one through there, tie it in place, and you can permanently tie it and then cut off the ends, or you can tie it and remove it as you like by using knots that can be undone. So in order to create this, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to need two strands, but we're going to leave them together for making the loop at the top. So we need one that's going to be a little bit bigger than we want our bracelet to be. So say for my wrist, I would go about there. And then you want the other end to be roughly four times the length of the previous end. So that's three and four times. And then we just cut it free. And notice I've held on to that spot so that I know where my loop is going to be. And you start it off by just tying an overhand knot and pulling it tight as you can. If you don't have a lot of strength in your hands, you can use a couple pairs of pliers to pull this tight or, you know, borrow a guy around the house and make him pull it tight. A lot of people at this point will slide the loop end over a hook or a loop to hold it in place while they're knotting the bracelet. That's great if you're doing a lot at once. In fact, it's really important if you're doing a lot at once because you may end up with cramps in your hands. But if you're only doing one or two, it's fine to just hold the knot with your fingers. And what you're going to do to create your knots is you're gonna hold the long end on the side of your dominant hand. For me, that's my right hand. And you're gonna hold your short end with the fingers of your non-dominant hand, just like this. And to tie the half knot, you're going to go and create a loop like this over the front. And then you're going to wrap it around and pull it up from the bottom all the way through and pull it tight. The first couple you'll probably have to let go in order to tighten. And as you keep going down the length, it's going to get easier. So I'll show you that one more time, tips towards you. You make the loop like this, hold it in place with those fingers right down here, and pull this around the bottom, up through the loop, and pull it tight. Now if you're doing this with embroidery floss, you can hold a multitude, or craft thread, you can hold a multitude of different colors in the center, and then change colors whenever you want for a stripe. If you count the number of knots, it's going to look more even. So say do 10 knots and then switch to one of the strands in the center that's a different color, do 10 knots, and continue that all the way along for a really colorful friendship bracelet. As you can see, as you keep doing the knots, they start to create that spiral pattern that spins around, and that's how you create a spiral knotted bracelet. For more tips, tricks, and patterns on jewelry making and other crafts, check out Crafty Diva Cat on Facebook and Twitter. As always, thanks for watching and happy crafting.